guys welcome back to drip and farm for poverty where on this channel our in mission is to empower the impoverished and help you find financial freedom through crypto assets and DeFi. if you like that mission smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another video and turn on notification bells so that hopefully i can bring you the newest and updated content specifically surrounding the forex shark ecosystem and there was a video released by Bartertown. I'm showing you it here. I'm not going to play his whole video, but what I did do is um, actually take the screenshots from this message so that I can just have the message itself so that you guys can read it. You can also, I'll link to his uh, video in the description if you want to listen to his take on the video as well. So giving full uh, transparency where this comes from, but this is in the i guess behind the scenes for the trip ecosystem so there's the devs and there's like the admins there's the ogs there's all these people that have some additional information on what's going down so uh barter town said he was given this uh ability to share this with the community so this is a message uh from forex shark according to barter town i'm not in that uh network so i can't verify anything i'm just telling you guys what i got you can watch this video and see it for yourself and once again, I'll link it in the description, but uh, we're going to go to a bigger screen. So all I did was copy paste to make this a lot easier to read. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It says we need to mint ourselves enough pigs to remove the liquidity from the current pigs liquidity pool. There's no quick way of doing this, but we did the math and it will take 10 days with the current plan. As soon as we do that, we will be good to go. So 10 days looks like how long it will take the migrating. The pig pen vault is slightly different case, but that doesn't need to be done before we go live with everything else. It looks like we will go live with everything in 10 days and the new pig pen vault will go live in about one and a half months. However, those who are in current pig pen will be rewarded with a higher pig pen balance and also a fairly large immediate payout as soon as the new pig pen goes live. So Bartertown talked about this, that uh, said take this with a grain of salt, could be longer, could be shorter. Um, he did mention to Bartertown that uh, 4X said it wouldn't take uh, that long, but maybe he's giving himself some grace period because he's been late on other uh, projects and that his focus is going to be for the pig pen to have some sustainability. Um, remember, the uh, piggy bank was created to add short term um, value to the pig token. So it would make sense that in the long run, he's looking for people to not sell the pig token. Remember, that's the whole point of the pig pin, so that you are an actual owner of the platform and you're getting paid in BUSD. That was the whole reason for creating it. So um, if you're in the pig pin, it sounds as though there will be some way to try to reward those people in the long term. All right. So while the while we are waiting for the new pig pin, the piggy bank and lottery should do perfectly well incentivizing people to stake their pigs. We are working on the lottery while we do everything else so that we'll be ready around the same time we go live with version two. So lottery and pig pen, I'm sorry, piggy bank, uh, 10 days. Let's just go ahead and round that to two weeks um, just in case. And then the pig pen, one and a half months. All right. The issue is that here's what happened or why they have to do this. So he's given uh, the reason of what, what transpired. The issue is that the amount we chose to see the contract would was not high enough along with the supply of piglets. I have no excuse for this, but to give some context, there was a disagreement before the launch about the seed amount we should use. Who was on which side of the agreement doesn't dis doesn't matter, but since we are under time constraints, we decided to default with the value we used for Drip Garden, which worked very well. However, the Drip Garden was not botted, and that made a huge difference. The argument for having a larger seed amount was that there would be less price impact for early buyers, like starting off a launch with a large liquidity pool. The issue with this is if you start off with too high of a price that people will not be able to afford to compound because the price of pickles per truffle would be too high. We had some argument before launch and decided the safest option would be just to go with the values we used for Drip Garden, which would have been fine if we were not bought it. It was the time constraints plus the addition of a new dev which caused a slight lack of communication and an oversight of the obvious solution which is to start off with a higher seed amount and a much higher piglet supply so the price impact of the initial investors is low regardless if they are bots or not. Plus, people would be able to compound no problem because the truffle's price of piglets would be extremely low. So long story short, they did what they did in the garden. That didn't work because they were botted and uh, they will be changing this or fixing this in the future with version two. Of course, we did extensive testing to ensure the contract was solid, all functions work, it's not exploitable, and as far as that goes, everything works perfectly. 
In the future, we will not put such time constraints on ourselves. The botters will be left out. People will be credited as if we started with a higher seed amount, and the piglet supply will be much larger relative to the truffle supply, so no one will ever have to worry about not having enough truffles to compound. So this is the answer to fixing uh, the issue with uh, people who had less than enough truffles to compound. So in the version two, it won't matter. You'll be able to compound or maybe do fractions, as he mentioned. If we started out with a higher seed amount, the price impact early buyers had would be less, so we will give them that we will give them what they would have gotten relative to everyone else if there has been had been a higher seed amount, meaning everyone who bought at launch will get about the same piglets for the money with about a 30% variance. So um, long story short, new pig pig pen, piggy ball, pig paint, Jesus Christ, can't get it right. Piggy bank. Uh, approximately two weeks out and you'll be able to compound smaller amounts and the people who got in early there will be the same amount of piglets but a 30% variance um, I'm guessing 30% more or less actually I have no idea I'm not even gonna speculate on what that means uh, you guys can decide so just wanted to bring this to you guys and keep it short again this is straight from Bartertown conglomerate and the uh, video he just put out on his channel about three hours ago so uh, you guys can check that out if you want to read it and verify it. I'm just bringing it to you so uh, you can have it short and concise. And uh, long and short of this is, yeah, just if you're in the pig pen or in the piggy bank or you're at the drip farm, whatever it is, I'm sorry, the animal farm, um, you can't do anything with your pigs and your dogs. The pools are paused. So the best thing you can do is just wait and be patient. And let's just see how this plays out. So we're looking at uh, about the 20th. So let's see how all these things come together by the end of March. All right, guys, hope that helped. I will see you in the next one. Until then, lift daily and achieve your impossible. Peace.